Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today at Castle Coombe for the annual German Performance Car Day. I'm here with Revo to check out this. Now this car is very much so a track car. So here at Castle Coombe, it is at home. Um, we've been wanting to film this thing for a while actually because I did see it at the Performance Center when I visited before. Basically, this is an A3 8P generation. However, it has an S3 engine and an RS3 visual kit. It's running about 450 horsepower from a hybrid turbo that Revo have developed. It's got the whole range of Revo bits on it, as I'm sure you can imagine. Semi-slicks, full suspension setup, full interior build. It is class. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna catch up with a member of the Revo team. We're gonna have a walk around the car before I then take it out on track here at Castle Coupe. Okay, so we're now joined with Paul from Revo, who's very kindly invited me down here today. Thank you very <laughs> no, much. No, thanks for coming, Luke. No, no, mate, absolutely, absolutely no problem. Um, I've been wanting to film this car for a while, actually. I remember seeing it in the performance center, like I mentioned in the intro. Yeah, it's all right. And uh, you've actually got it out. Yeah, that's for a it. First time out in a few years. Yeah. It's actually been uh, proudly on display at the Revo Performance Center yeah. in Daventry. And, uh, it's, it's nice to finally get it out in the, in the fresh air and Absolutely. give it a bit of a dust off, to Absolutely. be honest. It's been a bit of an ornament. So, Definitely. Uh, I mean, you guys have built it. this from the ground up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's top. right. So it started out life as a, as a completely boggo, Two litre TSI, uh, sorry, two litre TFSI yeah. uh, A3 Quattro uh, yeah. manual, which is yeah. quite rare, I'm, I'm led to believe. Okay, yeah. It's a 2005 car, it's done yeah. loads of miles. Yeah. Um, and we, we pretty much took it back to a bare shell. Yeah. It was, it was kind of a staff project, something we could get our teeth into, have yeah. some fun with and hark back to what has always been a really popular tuning platform for yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Two litre TFSI engine is kind of where we cut our teeth back in the early days. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're still so so popular. There's still yeah, there's still a really really big following for them. So we've we've had some fun with it, and uh, and it's nice to finally get it out on track. Absolutely, and I think there's a lot to talk about with this car. But seeing as the bonnet is open, yeah, let's have a little wander it's, it's around. It's had a few and, uh, bits done to it, should we say? So um, it, it, it's it's a stock block. It's a two liter TFSI. Um, it's had a KO4, a stock KO4 on it before. Yeah. This current turbo is actually a, a bit of a development, kind of hybrid KO4. Yeah. Um, running about 430, 440 horsepower. Yeah. Um, it's good fun, it goes well, mm -hmm. it's reliable. Yeah. Um, it's got our, our very, very popular um, Revo intake on it. Yes, um, Still, weirdly, to this day, one of our best-selling products, and you, yeah. you've got to wonder, is there a car out there that hasn't got one of these on? But uh, <laughs> it, it still amazes us how popular Absolutely. they are, so that's Absolutely. good. Um, Revo engine mounts, mm -hmm. uh, it's a Scorpion turbo back exhaust, yep. and essentially that is that is the engine, our software, of course. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. upgraded intercooler. All the Sorry, yeah, of stuff. course, yeah, we've done the intercooler on it, yeah. um, And but that's it, It's they are such a, a strong platform for tuning. Yeah. Um, there's a few other little bits on there just to help out. So we've got a you know a PCV system with a catch can and, yeah. and this yeah. that and the other. But but generally speaking, it's a it's a stock car. Yeah, yeah. Awesome stuff. And obviously, the things under the engine bay is definitely not the whole car, is it? There's work which has been done around the whole thing. Yeah, we, we <laughs> kind of went a little bit overboard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, as with anything, you start looking into making it into a track car and you think to yourself, well, what can we do? Yeah. Custom cages put a cage in it and yeah. by the time we'd finished specking it, we ended up with a full <laughs> welding FIA cage. Let's so have it, a little it is... in here. I mean, it's a proper thing, isn't it? Yeah. Proper thing. <laughs> it, it, it certainly is. So it's a... Uh... Nice custom Cobra um, and Revo seats as well. Yeah, yeah, so Very Cobra, cool. we've, we've worked with Cobra for a few years now. They've yeah. done us some custom seats in there. Yeah. Full um, manual plumbed in fire extinguisher system. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, we've got the water meth kit. Water meth kit in the back. Yep. So we, we don't actually Keep currently run that. Oh, it's yeah. there. Yeah. It's there for hotter days when when you know when required. Yeah. yeah days absolutely. like today we don't need it, so it's yeah. not currently on. Um, yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> it's really absolutely cold. Freezing. It's really cold. So uh, what else we got? We got all the dials, keeping eye yeah. on all the all the temps and stuff like that. Sparco steering wheel. 
It looks awesome. Yeah, Absolutely yeah, awesome. It's, it, it, it's good fun, and, and it's then something. And all the polycarbonate windows as well. Poly windows, yeah, which is pretty yeah, cool. And, then, and obviously going down. Yeah, down here as onto well. Onto the wheels, so it's running our uh, Revo RFO 18s yep. on a set of Nankangs, our 380 mil brake kit, um, Paget RS 29s. Yeah. Um, the, this, uh, yeah, Nankang AR1s on there, which are just our go-to kind of track tyre, which yeah, they're absolutely yeah. brilliant. I need to try them, actually. This will be the first car I've ever driven with these tyres, so I'll, I'll, uh, oh, interesting. I'll have a little yeah, look. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, see how you get on. We yeah. really, really like them. They're, they're, yeah. they're perfect for a car like this. Yeah. Um, loads of grip. They come on well. They stay well. Yeah. They're really affordable. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's good, good setup. And then, of course, probably the last thing is actually the, the RS3 kit. I yeah, suppose. yeah, interesting point. Yeah, it's kind of easy to overlook that with this yeah, wrap on it. Yeah, yeah true. Of... Very so true. It's, it is, yeah, it's an RS3 front end essentially. Yeah. Um, front bumper, wings. They do a rear arch kit as well. We, we decided not yeah. to go with that, but it has got the RS3 rear bumper on. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah. it's an 8P RS3, so the, yeah. the right shape yeah, for the car. RS3 rear kind of boot spoiler. Yeah, yeah. No, it's but an awesome that, car. I mean, yeah. everything, every box is ticked. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> every box is the, ticked. The, the best bit, it's fast. It's an experience. Every yeah. time you take it out on track, it's an event, which is, yeah. which is just great fun. Yeah. But it's actually really, really easy to drive. Okay. You know, it's the kind of yeah. car anyone can kind of go out in. Yeah. Be relatively quick. Yeah. And, and feel quite safe. Awesome. You know, being a quattro, it's just yeah. got that kind of sure-footedness as well. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Well, I suppose if that's the case, I'm eager to get behind the wheel. Yeah, and, uh, go out, and give it have a go. some fun and let us know what you think. Absolutely, cannot wait. Let's hop in and go have some fun. Okay, here we are, rolling out from the Revo stand. Basically, we've got to walk through, or sorry, walk through? Drive through the crowds to uh, head down to the paddock and to the track. These sliding windows are epic. Now, actually, this is my first time driving a track spec car um, which i'm very excited for because you guys probably know about the plans for my golf R, soon to be track spec which will be very cool um, but yeah rolling around hopefully there's not too much of a queue and then we will be out on track
20, hard on the brakes. This is quarry, a very hard corner here at Castle Boom. A lot of people spin because it's kind of a little bit off camber. this M4 but he's just getting away from me. Captain 4. Oh, he's overcooked it. <laughs> all is good, all is good. We'll do one more lap. See if we can get a hot lap in. Flat round the first corner. Up to 120. Hard on the brakes before the left hand to quarry, down into fourth, then third. It's such usable power though. To the first chicane. He <laughs> can really chuck it in. down and have a bit of a debrief now this kind of thing to me as a driver's perspective very new to me i've been out in a fair few track spec cars but i never have really driven one to be honest um as an e92 gone flying oh, oh e90 actually wow this is the first time i've actually driven a track spec car and like I said I, it just makes me so excited for the imminent arrival of mine when well, I say an imminent arrival the work which is going to be done to it very soon and uh, yeah I mean, this thing is just so planted it gives you so much confidence 
like you can throw it in the corners. <laughs> it's so much fun, honestly, so much fun. Being meth injected as well, obviously have that extra cooling, extra peace of mind and extra power, really. Um, but yeah, being a development car as part of the Revo fleet, there's always something which can be done. And uh, yeah, it's an epic piece of kit and a big thank you to those guys for, uh, for letting me take it out here at Castle Coombe. It's been epic fun and you guys can obviously stay tuned because there's going to be a fair few Revo based videos coming in due course. But anyway, coming towards the end of our little cool down lap. So I think that is going to wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You can find all of Revo's links down in the description down below. But yeah, like I said, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe. But all the adventures still to come.